A special segment tonight, the new French Connection. In the movie, the French Connection referred to heroin coming into this country from France. Now it is co cocaine going into Europe through Paris. Cocaine from Colombia's infamous drug cartel. As NBC's Brian Ross reports tonight, drug smugglers from that South American country have discovered new lucrative markets in Europe. This is the Concorde Lafayette Hotel in Paris, a busy place the last two months with foreign dignitaries, big conferences, hundreds of tourists, and a lot of intrigue. These people, who look like tourists, are really French undercover police at the hotel day and night, watching certain guests from Florida and South America as part of what would become the biggest cocaine smuggling case in French history. For weeks, the police followed the smugglers all over Paris. Two of the suspected smugglers even posed for snapshots, never aware the police were onto them as they toured the sites and made the arrangements to bring their cocaine to Paris from Bogota. And in Bogota, the smugglers reportedly paid a $200,000 bribe to an airport official to get their cocaine, concealed in two suitcases, past security officers and cocaine-sniffing dogs. Last Monday night, Avianca Flight 206 took off from Bogota, bound for Paris, with the two suitcases of cocaine on board. Today in Paris, the French police moved in, seized the cocaine, almost two and a half million dollars worth, a record amount in France, and arrested five people from Colombia and Florida, who authorities say were in Paris to help establish a new kind of French connection, a cocaine connection. Within the last year, the same small, powerful, and violent Colombian organization that has flooded the United States with cocaine has begun to operate here in Europe. And American law enforcement authorities say it is a very troubling sign, indicating that the Colombian cocaine cartel, even with all the cocaine it sends to the United States, still has tons and tons more to send around the world. American authorities say Europe is wide open to the Colombian cocaine smuggler. South American freighters have been dropping large quantities of cocaine off the coast of Portugal. There are intelligence reports that the smugglers are using an ingenious scheme involving prized Colombian show horses, hiding as much as 10 pounds of cocaine in the birth canals of horses shipped to Spain. And in Brussels this summer, another record seizure as the cocaine cartel pushes hard to open new markets outside the United States. The cartel uh, is like any other business. They are able to Mike Pavlik uh, is the top American uh, drug agent uh, in Europe. Uh, when one market is saturated, such as the United States, you look for another market, just, like, just as any other corporation would. That's why they're coming to Europe. That's why they're coming here now. Some of the biggest cocaine deals in the world are now being negotiated along the Champs-Élysées, often over champagne at fine restaurants and cafes. And Agent Pavlik says not only are the cocaine bosses getting far higher prices here for their cocaine than in the United States, but that under French law, just negotiating a drug deal isn't necessarily a crime. So a lot of the big-time people involved in narcotic trafficking are going to come here in order just to negotiate, not go near the drugs, not go near the money. And that's safe if they do that. That's safe. And American and French authorities say they fear Europe is about to be hit by the same kind of cocaine epidemic that is now occurring in the United States. Uh, Drug agent Pavlik says the first signs are showing up in the Bordellos and red light districts of Paris. Uh, we're seeing a turnaround. People using heroin and hashish are now using cocaine. A lot of the prostitutes now are, uh, are being able to supply cocaine and uh, are using cocaine to their customers. At all levels of European society, people are worried about a cocaine epidemic. This gala dinner in the French resort Deauville was organized by nightclub owner Regine to raise money to help fight cocaine and other drugs. A very important problem of cocaine, yes. In Europe, we are now at the crossroads. We have to either stop it or do the best we can to stop it or it's going to become unmanageable. Almost every day at the Charles de Gaulle airport in Paris, as the flights from South America arrive, one drug courier after another attempts to make his or her way into Europe. Many get caught. Like this man, whose briefcase contained a secret compartment where French Customs found about four pounds of cocaine, more than $100,000 worth. But for every courier who gets caught and sent to prison, 
there are many who get through, and the cocaine bosses in Colombia get richer and more difficult to stop than ever. Brian Ross, NBC News, Paris. That's nightly news for this Tuesday night. I'm Tom Brokaw. I'll see you tomorrow night.